ringing the dinner bell right here, guys. Comment down below how many fish you can ring that box. This is what happens when you pancake an H1N on the beach. When a mangrove snapper smells this, he's like, What's up? Get him in, get him in, get him in. Bam! Lorenzo. All right, Watch Your Lip fans. Today we are going to go on a chum block making adventure. Guys, we're going to make our own chum blocks. They're super expensive in the stores. And personally, I really can't afford to go on a major chumming expedition. Uh, it just kind of like taps into my budget a little more than I'd prefer. So why don't we make our own? Guys, we're going to show you how to make... Yeah. A successful yeah, chum block using your own bait that you're catching. Guys, check this out. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Uh, watch your lip. All right, so the first step in making chum block is you gotta have your base chum. Fish is obviously on the menu. A lot of people go and get menhaden. They buy expensive menhaden oil, uh, but that's really, I think, a little out of my price range personally. Um, menhaden oil is pretty expensive, so why don't we go catch our own pilchards at the beach. Uh, in the summertime in South Florida, There, it's a great, base for your chum so guys we're gonna go catch a bunch of pilchards and i'm gonna do it in just one throw of the cast net and we're gonna make five chum blocks out of one throw of the cast net check this out yeah check it out you want to see some bait guys Look at the bait. Holy smokes. What do you think? Look at the bait. Oh my god. What do you think? Is that a lot of bait or what? Yes, yes. Oh my god. Right, I think we have some bait. And uh, I just want to show you what we're getting. So guys, what we're doing is we're making chum. So chum blocks. Do you need some uh, chum blocks for the keys? We need some chum for the keys. We able to get any? Yeah. Uh, let's see. What do you think I got in one cast? Wow. That's incredible. New name for this beach. Bait Beach. Bait Beach. Um, what do you think? I think this is what the best are. Put them all in here. Um, Comment down below how many fish you think are in that box. <laughs> and you'll win a lollipop. You <laughs> you'll win a lollipop. Hey guys, that is what happens when you pancake an eight-foot net on the beach. go to zero. All right, now pick it up. Here we go. Now, how many pilchards did I get? 20 pounds, eight, things of eight ounces. Eight things of it's 20 pictures. pounds of pilchards in one cast. All right, now that we have our pilchards, it's time to make the chum. We're gonna do it, we're gonna go. We got a grinder, a meat mincer. An old-fashioned handheld one. Guys, we're going to grind up our pilchards and we're going to make some chum with a few other ingredients. Check it All out. All right, guys. So this is literally the pilchards that I caught in one cast net. This bag weighs 21 pounds, guys. But net, uh, that's the first trick. Got to go get bait. Got to go get your base for your chum. Um, in this case, pilchards are very abundant. They're easy to get. They're right on the beach. All you need is a cast net or a sabiki rig and you're in. Uh, our ingredients, pilchards, oats, old fashioned oats. We've got some all purpose flour and a couple of eggs. And we are going to introduce the pilchards to the meat mincer. Yeah, baby, check it out. <laughs> all right guys, when you're gonna go on a chum block making adventure, the first thing you need to do, probably a couple weeks in advance, uh, in advance is you got to start saving some of these cardboard boxes because you need something to make the um, the mold for the chum. We got some plastic bottles which work good. We'll cut the tops off. That way, it, once you put them in the plastic bottles, you don't have to uh, put a bag around it so it doesn't leak all over your freezer, which the, the wives would very much appreciate. So we've got some plastic bottles that we're cutting the lids off. We've got some of these 
probably a little bit more heavy duty cardboard boxes. So that's what you need to do. You need to save up some of this stuff and uh, we're gonna see which one we like best. Okay guys, so now we have our grinder mounted to a bucket. Lorenzo is very excited to run this grinder, aren't you Lorenzo? Yes. Yeah? Oh, it's mounted to it? It's All mounted right. right to the bucket. And we've got our, are, you have them thawed out there, George? Yep. Mine actually was, I was good enough to put them just in the refrigerator. Oh, I left them all, outside. Overnight. No, I, I mean, I never froze mine. Oh. They were in the fr refrigerator. All right, so those look like sardines, huh? Yeah. Did you buy them? Well, it was a mistake. Yeah. So we've got a little sardine action, but guys, these are the pilchers that we caught at the beach. Um, Lorenzo? Go for it, dude. Is it the right way? Yeah, I will. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta hold the bucket. Okay, go. We gotta help it out a little bit. There you go. Go. <laughs> there it goes, guys. Oh, yummy. Oh, baby. Come on, man. Yeah, we need a little piece of wood. Oh, yum. Oh, yes. Come on. This is what fishermen do. Don't spill my coffee, kid. We got a little piece of plastic to make a ramp, so when the, the good stuff falls down off the crank, it falls directly into the bucket. We've got some zip ties, and we're gonna zip tie the... Uh, this is actually pretty innovative here. It's uh, very innovative. Look at that. Oh, oh man, come on, dude. <laughs> George, you're awesome. Hey, right. fly. Look at this, come on, man. Oh, here we go. This uh, is a fun one. The front, is that a blue runner? Yeah. Now, all right, so now one thing about these guys, so, sometimes the heads. Oh, yeah. I hear it. Crack. Go. Crack. Go. 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 Crank it. Come on. Yes. Oh, yeah. Crank it, man. Oh. <laughs> and now, after the blue runner, some pilchards. Grind them up, baby. The blue runners it stuck in yeah, the Yeah, sometimes the, the 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 bones of bigger fish can be a little interesting when going through the grinder. It doesn't appreciate skulls very much. Jeez. Come on. Put your back into it, boy. Get to Put work, your, man. Get to work, man. Go. There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, that blue runner's toast, man. That's Blue Runner right there, guys. Dude, this is awesome, man. <laughs> Look at that. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to feed it. Feed it. You liking this, George? Yeah, man. First Woo! time doing this. Sardines? Or are those boat big coaches? These are sardines. sardines. Oh, my goodness. It's moving. It's moving, all right. That looks like some kind of other kind of movement. <laughs> See all those spines. We can make croquetas. Croquetas? Yeah. Okay. Just wash it out good first. All right. These are the pilchards that we caught at the beach. Yeah, make sure you don't put your finger in there. No, palm of the hand. Palm of the hand. That would be a very quick. And very painful ouchie. <laughs> what did you do this summer? <laughs> this is uh, child labor right here, guys, at its finest. Good. George is very ambitious with the amount of pilchards that he just We got baseball practice. Oh, we do? Oh, so it's a hard, it's a hard 10-15. Yeah. Stop. Hold on, Virgil. Yeah. Go. 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 They're missing out, man. They are missing out. This is like, this is like tell me you're never gonna forget this, Lorenzo. I'm not. You're never gonna forget this. I'm never gonna forget the smell either. Just breathe through your mouth, man. It doesn't smell that bad yet. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. You should be the one right next to it. <laughs> man, you are being ambitious. Hey, we gotta, we gotta keep production line going. Production going, man. Come on, man. All right. Flies. Imagine when mommy cooks your favorite food and you can start smelling it from across the uh, house and come over to the kitchen. You're like, mommy, whoa, you're making 
It's, I'm, I'm so excited. Empanadas or whatever. This, that's what this is for a mangrove snapper, Lorenzo. When, when a ring mangrove snapper. Ringing the dinner bell. When a, ringing the dinner bell right here, guys. When a oh, mangrove is that snapper. Sauce? When a mangrove snapper smells this, he's like, what's up? It's dinner time. Hey, mom, is that fresh guts? Oh my God. <laughs> And Lorenzo has finalized our pilchard grinding on, session, dude. Look on, at that. Come on. come on, keep it going. Keep going. It's still pushing out. Come on. It's still pushing. Oh, my goodness. Go, go. Yeah, guys, you can pick one of these grinders up. I mean, they, they, make, them, they make them electric now. <laughs> Electric processors. Dude, but they don't make them like this anymore. No, this is this thing is solid, man. Yeah. So I mean, I think I paid. I mean, I've had this for like twenty years, but I think I paid about a hundred bucks for this. Wow. Something like that. And uh, look at that, man. Bucket full of goodness. It's still coming out like that. That means it's, it's all jammed up all inside this tube. Smell o vision, man. If you only had smell o vision. Smell o vision. If you guys only had smell vision YouTube, can you add a feature that helps us smell what's on the other side of the camera? That would be interesting. Yeah. Look at that. All right. That's All right. That's we're good. Lorenzo, yeah. if you didn't know what this was and you were to look at it. It's not poop. <laughs> what, what's that? Is it a poop? <laughs> it would be poop, right? Yeah. Dude, look at that. All right. So, guys, that, that fills a little more than a half of a five-gallon bucket. These flies... I mean, they made it all the way over from the, the landfill. They're like, man, we smell something better over in South Creek. And here they are. And it's Menhaden. Actually, these are pilchards. Pilchard goodness. Guys, a lot of people put very expensive Menhaden oil uh, in their chum slicks. But I got news for you. Uh, there's a lot of oil. These are very oily fish. And believe it or not, this we, we'll add a little bit of vegetable oil just to get a slick going. But there's plenty of Menhaden oil right there. Guys, very important, if you get a meat mincer like this, very important to do what George is doing right now. Because if you don't, first thing you here, your wife's not gonna be very happy with you because it's gonna start smelling horrifically. Yeah, well. But the other thing is this thing will rust out and you don't want that. So you gotta, you gotta wash it out with clean water. A little, a little grease in the gear wouldn't hurt, but um, you gotta let it dry really, really well. It's got these two parts here, this little wheel with the holes that it pushes all the stuff through. And that's, that's the goodness right there, guys. So, time to add the carbohydrates. We got some oats. Why don't you grab that guy? All right. Come on, let's, let's make it quick. Make it quick. All right, now you gotta make sure this is, there you go. All right, look at that. These are oats, guys. The purpose for the carbohydrate, go ahead and dump it closer, closer, closer. The purpose for the carbohydrate Come is, oh, dump it on, dump it in. Whole thing, there you go. And then go get the other one. Guys, the purpose for the carbohydrate is that when you add a little bit of water, the carbohydrate absorbs the smell of the chum and it gives you a lot more mass in your chum blocks. So go ahead and dump that in closer so you don't spill any. There you go. Very good, very good. All right, now, Lorenzo, I want you to go get the flour. Oh, look at that. That is lovely. Put some flour in, guys. Huh? I don't know. You like that? It's good. It's good? Yeah. So the flour, the flour will help. The, wait, 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 don't, 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 put, don't put that in yet. The flour will help the uh, chum blocks stick together because you don't want them to, you don't want the chum block to fall apart actually, quickly. Should we season it with some salt and pepper? That actually looks super good. It's very interesting, isn't it? Do you? Well, you can have some oatmeal. Lorenzo, go get the eggs. Get the eggs and crack them in there. The eggs will also help, guys. Help it stick together. 
Our total cost in this whole thing, uh, believe it or not, the these oatmeal thing cost a little more than I thought they were going to. I mean, just got you eat it. Lorenzo's putting a couple eggs in there. Put, what do you, no, not the shell. Lorenzo, uh, what do you think, George? Three, four eggs? Yeah. Put, put four eggs in there. Okay, come on, crack them. Crack them open. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ready? Look at that. There you go. Crack that bad boy open. Oh, it's so lovely. All right. Come on. Or we might be, maybe just put them all in. Granola bars. Yeah, this is, this is snapper granola right here. We added our vegetable oil, a little, I don't know, maybe a couple ounces of vegetable oil. Like a, yeah, like a, maybe a cup, two cups. Oh, two cups? Two yeah. cups of vegetable oil. We got our eggs. Our total cost is about $10, and this will make at least five or six chum blocks. Uh, whereas, you know, you can buy one for $10, one block. And then oh, this is this quality, so this is your actually $20 block. This is your $20 block right here, absolutely. Very good. Very little fillers. Yeah, there's no filler. And <laughs> and uh, the fish are local. Yeah, locally caught fish. It's not imported. <laughs> it's not a recognized scent. It's a familiar smell. It's a familiar smell. All right, guys. Now, next phase is the chum is ready for our little our little container. So uh, we've George is already filling them up. I love how you just get down and dirty, George. You want to play a practical joke on your wife? Yeah. Just do this. Oh my goodness. Put it in the fridge. That's it. We got all right. some good stuff, man. We, we got all, all of the uh, water bottles? The so. bottles filled? Up. One more. Okay. Look at that. I like this one. You can actually see through. and Oh. Yeah, I'm going to clean that off. baby <laughs> so George the question is is it easier just to buy it it's not fun though it's not fun <laughs> it's, just, it's like easier to buy the fish at the store too it is it is we could just go buy snapper at the store right? but it just doesn't taste it's the same this is all part of the experience right here guys all part of the experience all right, because we can also use some cardboard boxes, which we're going to do right here. Let me hold this open for you as best I can. This will probably take the rest of it. Yeah? This will be for the all-nighter right here. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, it's, it's lovely. It's going to take the rest? Yeah. Guys, we could have probably gotten away with doing a lot more filler. Yeah. We could have probably done a lot more of the cans of oatmeal, but guys, here's the deal. Um, we want to we want to make it so the most potent as possible, and the fish is what will be have been the expensive part. It didn't cost us anything because we went and caught them ourselves. So that's good. We got five nice big blocks of chum. I like that, George. Glad bag, baby. Aren't you glad we did this? Yeah. <laughs> All right, next step, guys. Before we put it in the freezer, what do you think? Should we get some flies in there? Get a few flies in for a few, a little oh, extra on. protein. <laughs> All right, we cover them, and then we're gonna put them in the freezer. The two yeah. gallons are best because you know I gotta handle. Yes. Make sure that doesn't fall over until. <laughs> That's it guys. Next stop, the freezer. Okay guys, now that our chum blocks are made, we're getting ready for a keys trip. We're gonna go yellowtail snapper fishing. Um, chum blocks are in the freezer. They gotta sit for 24 to 48 hours, preferably 48. Make sure they're frozen all the way through before you use them. And then, guys, let's go fish. Let's check it out. We are now in a 50 feet of water off of Key Largo. 
And this is one of our infamous chum blocks. Lorenz, uh, George, please do not stab yourself. Nope. No stabbing. Especially on that Cuban. <laughs> Don't worry. Look at that chum, guys. Doesn't that look beautiful? Doesn't that look beautiful? So, next step, guys, is we gotta get that chum block into a bag, into a chum bag. The hope is yellowtails and mangroves. Well, come on, baby. All right. No littering? No littering whatsoever. We are just making use of all that chum. All right. Let's get it going, man. All right, so guys, little current going. Yep, it's going backwards. I have a feeling it's only a matter of time before fish start showing up in the chum slick. And we're gonna show you guys that in a few minutes as we start fishing. As you can see, guys, there's all kinds of fish that are attracted to chum. Uh, we've got Bermuda chubs in this chum slick. Uh, we've got all kinds of mangrove snapper, it drives them crazy. We've got bait fish, uh, all kinds of little bait fish. Down, down the keys, guys, chum is the way to go. If you're snapper fishing, you wanna catch snapper, you have to have a lot of chum. And I get, like I said, it's very pricey, so we, we make our own. If you wanna catch ballyhoo for maybe going mutton snapper fishing or you're gonna go offshore and try and get some dolphin or kingfish, you wanna get live ballyhoo, cast net your own or catch them on rod and reel, you chum it up. These are the same chum blocks that we're making now. And now for the finale, Guys, yellowtail snapper fishing. We went offshore in the Keys. We took little Priscilla. We took her five miles out down to the reef, about 50 foot reef in the Florida Keys. We anchored up, started chumming, and in a short while, look what happened. Lorenzo's on one more time. Literally, biggest one of the day. Oh, get him up, get him up, get him up. Yeah. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video on making your own chum. We had a blast making it, and we definitely had a blast using it. Uh, guys, we caught a bunch of fish, um, spent about $10 just some oats, a little bit of oil, and some eggs, and that's it, guys. We made 10 chum, I'm sorry, five chum blocks, and we had a great time. We caught a whole bunch of snapper, and that was awesome. So guys, please give me a like, yeah. drop a like, drop a comment down below if you like it. I mean, we're not experts at making chum. There's really not a lot to it, it's pretty simple, but if you have any further recipe or further points that you'd like to share, We'd love to hear it and we'll try your recipe and make a video out of it. So comment down below if you have a great chum recipe that you've, uh, that you've gotten success with and we'll check that out. Uh, but guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications and we'll see you next time. Get out there and rip some lips. Watch your lip. Nothing happened here, ladies. Nothing at all happened in your garage at all it's actually cleaner than we yeah, first got it it's cleaner than it was before